uh, just thought I would do a quick little vlog bit because it's been a while. Um, I haven't even got a chance to edit the last week's video, uh, the music video one, because I've just been bamboozled with stuff to do. Uh, so, just to catch up a little bit, I met with this, uh, this guy named Jacob Clark. You go ahead and check out his YouTube channel or his uh, Facebook business page, 47 Cents Productions, which by the way, you can check out my Facebook page, Clippy by Productions. I don't usually um, talk about them. But I also dropped down a demo reel not too long ago and uh, with the collab situation with uh, the Jacob guy, um, we should hopefully be here soon working on a QP music video, which that might actually get thrown into this, this vlog. Other than that, I'm not sure how to yet, but I'm going to start trying to give away some like free LUTs and such. If you go to my uh, Facebook page, you can see some music videos I worked on and I've gone on my way to make LUTs so you can just throw it on stuff and, and uh, make that look. I've been kind of wanting to do that kind of thing for a while, but yeah. Uh, recommend it with the LUTs uh, that I did make is 60%. I've noticed that 60% is typically the good intensity. But other than that, today I made a whole lot of LUTs, including a Sin City effect, which if you don't know what that means, it's make the red pop while everything else is black and white. And yeah, I just, I tried the LUTs on all kinds of different stunts. I tried different scenarios. And uh, when I get a chance, I gotta start playing up the, the QP music video. I won't be meeting up with the other filmmaker until Thursday. And I'll be working that day. And I don't know when we'll be filming it, but hopefully, hopefully a couple of days after that. I just need him to tell me what, my what his schedule is so I can just call the days off. Is that everything? Yeah. Uh, today, other than everything I have done, I'm gonna go celebrate uh, my girlfriend's brother's birthday. Yeah, we're gonna stay at a hotel and on the way there I'm gonna try to get ring fit adventure. I don't play video games as much as I used to, but the idea of Ring Fit Adventure is very attractive. You work out, you level up, and you feel achievement even if you can't see the achievement like, in your body right away. And uh, I'm, I'm a bit of a fitness nut. It kind of kills me that I haven't been able to work out, or I don't feel comfortable working out yet just because it's still pretty recent from the procedure. But yeah. I just wanted to uh, update you on some stuff, and I guess now let's get to some uh, really cool B-roll or music video stuff or whatever. Don't forget to smash that bell icon. Toodaloo! Hey everyone! Um, so, I'm vlogging again. Um, should have hopefully put some B-Row uh, playing uh, Ring Fit Adventure here. And um, in, mean, in that meantime, I, uh, I got a, a spontaneous last minute wedding job for, for a nice amount of money. Um, and it was, it was so last minute I didn't realize that it was literally, yeah, it's literally this week. There's not even any joke about that. It, it is Sunday today, and they want they're they're getting married Saturday. It's literally from the beginning to the ending. Ooh, that's a lot of pressure for your first wedding video. <sighs> when I have to work so many days before that. Oh lordy. And uh, I was going to bring on 
the new friend I made, because um, he's pretty new at it too, but he's, he's at least done one wedding video, and um, the, uh, the, the couple cried to it, so I was like, well, if I get him on it, then that increases my chances of creating that, that value. But nope, 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 not him, none of him. Great stuff right there. But um, in general, I was, I was supposed to work that day and uh, I, I got uh, one of the ship supervisors to, to, to help me out a lot and pull a double. So that's great. Really happy with the job to, to allow that. I mean, without that shift, I'll be working 20 hours a week, which that'll make that, um, that paycheck that much smaller. But after this wedding video, I'll get paid 650 so that should more than well make up for it. I got to dump all this footage right now into my computer and not touch the Osmo again till the wedding because I got to make sure I have maximum storage, maximum batteries, everything's prepped, everything. And I would, I would at least do some vlog recordings but I don't trust the amount of space I have on this SD card. So I, I really got to maximize my chances of making this into a perfect wedding shoot. So literally, not even joking, the next video you will see, which should be in this vlog, will be wedding footage. So hopefully you enjoy it my very first wedding video and um, after I get on shooting it I will try to describe my experience I woke up at 9 a.m. my girlfriend didn't wake up until 10 or 10 30 <sighs> then we went to Denny's at 11.20, then we had it he headed to the uh, the ceremony location, and then, uh, well, before I did that, I told my I kind of head that way, family fit guy, I don't think I've showed him on here yet, but I'm sure I can show him on some of the footage. And I stayed there until we got back home at 8, so... Yeah, uh, roughly we shot 7 hours. And that's a lot. But I brought a Sony camera, a Canon camera, a JVC camera, an Osmo camera, and then there was a drone. Um, so it's quite possible that there's about 35 hours worth of footage. It's most likely going to be more like 30, because that drone. No, uh, hopefully it's just a day's worth. It's going to be a little bit over a day's worth for sure. But back to how the day went. It rained hardcore until... I mean, it rained the whole day, except there was a, there was a short period of time where it wasn't so bad. And that's when uh, Malachi decided to fly his drone and get some nice drone shots, which that was dope. He ran to a power line getting some of the shots, but thankfully the drone is still intact. He actually did offer me a job today, about a job tomorrow, to shoot a football game for fifty dollars. At 2 p.m. I gotta remember to write that down and keep a reminder for myself. I completely forgot about that till now. But, uh, back to the wedding. So, I shot a bunch of scenery. It was a bit awkward at first. Because everyone was just like, Who are these people? I felt like I got that kind of feeling every time. Or at least. Well, at least once every hour, where people were just like, who's this weirdo, recording stuff. Um, but yeah, we shot scenery shots. I forgot my notebook, so I was kind of just going with the flow. 
the ceremony didn't happen, in, or anything interesting didn't happen until like 2.30, so we were there for about an hour and 30 minutes, just kind of not really knowing what much to do, but JC was getting all the information that she could, so it was still useful, because she was gathering information for when things started getting hectic. Yeah, JC was the talker, and I was the filmer, and I think Malachi did some talking, but he was mostly just like my, my backup guy. And, uh, so the ceremony happened, and, yeah, I was in the back of the audience. The back audience didn't feel like as good of a shot as I thought it was going to be when I had it mapped down in my head. I didn't realize it was going to be as dark as it was, but hopefully the footage should turn out still pretty good. I mean, that's one of the bright sides of having multiple people recording. I'm no, I have no clue what JC recorded. None whatsoever. I know that Malachi followed me around a bunch and shot the same shots that I was shooting, but sometimes, like the ceremony, he shot from a completely different angle, which was good. Because I'm not sure how confident I felt about my shots. <clears throat> JC ended up introducing me to the photographer, which was super cool. Someone told me that that was like her first wedding, but after some talking to her, I don't think that was her first wedding. I think she's done weddings for a while. That might be the only type of photography job she does. I don't know who got the idea that that was her first job because she didn't seem like that was her first job at all. So, you know. I guess that's what happens when no one knows who people are. Um, maybe they're just trying to make me feel better, I don't know. Um, but yeah, she was super cool. She gave us like eight business cards and said that she would, you know, try to tag us along on some video, video videography jobs for weddings and stuff. I guess I made a good uh, first impression. It really, going to a wedding, I really wasn't as anxious as I thought it was going to be. I don't know if it was because of all the meds I took or what, but I think if I was by myself, I still probably would have been super anxious because all I had to do was find JC and she was like, yeah, that's happening in 30 minutes. That's happening in 15 minutes. Make sure you do that. And most of the time I was on the game, but just having the extra person to kind of have my back and be like, don't forget that, this is happening, you know, it just feels nice. Um, so that was really nice. Did I need three people there? Maybe not. Did I need as many cameras as I, as I had there? I feel like I did. Malachi ended up bringing two cameras the Sony and the Canon, and I brought the JVC and the Osmo. Eventually I'm going to get a Canon too. Um, the Osmo did really great. Um, it lost like three of those small batteries, but I have a feeling if I just kept the big battery in there, it would have been fine the whole time, because not a single one of those were uh, drained. I was trying to just use it for specific times. We didn't get any first looks or posing, but we did get interviews. That happened, I think, right after the ceremony. And uh, I might have been in the way of the photographer one time, but she was like, hey, can you move over? And then that was all. I mean, we still did pretty well with each other. Um, I think I got three or four interviews. One where the the mother cried, so you know I was starting to get me teared up and knowing how emotional JC is, she was just bawling up, crying, and you know she hardly even knows these families. It almost makes it seem like she was part of the family. She was crying so bad. Um, but try to roll over my head and some interviews, and then. The, uh, the DJ person was pretty super dope too. He um, he was one of the first people there. I was like, just let him know that I wanted to plug my 
wireless audio device into his uh, wireless mic thing. There's some misunderstanding at first, but we got sorted out. And I had the pasture lived up. So that should be pretty great audio. And then when the mic got passed around, that was through his system. So that should be pretty good too. All the audio should be crispy crisp. Uh, I will admit, there was one of the grandmothers that I had lived up for the interview and JC didn't realize that she had pressed the button making it go red, meaning it muted it and the grandmother just kept on going even though I was like, I, there's no point for this right now and like she wasn't catching on and you know, I didn't want to be rude while she was talking but the camera couldn't hear her so like, you know, she ended up saying something slightly different which might have not been as good. I wish I would have gotten all the first interview but I didn't, I also didn't notice until like 10 seconds in that the audio bars weren't bouncing. Oh god, that's a long video. Sorry for, for blabbing out so much, but there was a lot of learning for this experience or just a lot to take in. But yeah, uh, there was a short period of time where we got to eat, but I didn't get to eat a whole lot before the uh, speeches happen and then uh, the dances happen. Um, I didn't want to get too close because I didn't want to get in the photographer's shots, but I think I did still relatively pretty well. And there's a moment where my eyes were battered because I was using one of the small ones was about to die. And I was trying to wave over Malachi, be like, hey, I need you. I need you right now. This is an important shot. And then he came around and then I switched out the battery for the big one because all my small ones were dead. The Sony one, half the batteries were dead. So that got lost quick. And the JVC camera only had one battery. And Jason's was like, you really don't have more batteries? Of course I don't. I like, I got that camera straight out of high school, and then I got the Osmo, just because, you know, the JVC camera is nice and all, but no one really uses that type of camera very much, and just the Osmo is more useful. But yeah, um, we ended up shooting about 30 minutes worth of dancing. I was really only going to cut it at 12 minutes. But then I wanted to make sure everything was fine. There wasn't anything else to record it from the uh, mother. And she was like, it'd be nice if you record a couple more dances. And I was like, all right. And my Osmo's memory was already almost full. So I was like, I'll just wait for it to get full. And by that time, Malachi was already gone, which meant JC had to stay because if she didn't, I wouldn't have a ride home. So, Thankfully, she stayed and did some networking and stuff, so I don't know when I should have next job, but hopefully I'll have a Canon camera by the time we get the next job, whenever that may be. I have a music video coming up here soon, but music videos should be fine for now. <clears throat> but um, also, if uh, you guys are going into wedding, just a side note. Uh, you should try to make time to go to the rehearsal because I didn't personally, I, I didn't make time because I already had to ask off for Saturday for the wedding. I couldn't ask off for another day and I didn't find out till practically the day before, well, I think two days before. But JC made it just to try to cover bases and try to get some extra intel. And because she did that, the uh, the mother actually threw in an extra fifty dollars, so that was dope. We made a good impression by doing that. So, try to make it to the rehearsal for planning, and it just looks good. And try to get on the photographer's good side, because also they can get you some more jobs. I have a couple days off right now, so I'm I might get lucky and be able to finish it off or mostly, or halfway before this week is over. It helps when there's a lot of days off in a row. But, um, my main, my main goal this week is just to get everything organized. Because like I said, I have like five cameras 
and they all are basically recording the the same stuff you know so i have to organize those five cameras then organize them in separate folders of like ceremony reception scenery etc etc but yeah thanks for watching i'm gonna stop rambling see you later